What's going on guys? My name is Matt Ramsey Sports Dog. Today we have a sweet video for my friend Swifters. I'm gonna let him take it away. How to get three ray guns and Barry. Check this out. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Swifters and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get three ray guns at the same time on the map buried. Now, in order to do this, you guys are going to need to know how to do the ray gun perma perk. So if you don't know how to do that, please be sure to check the link in the description to a video on my channel on how to get the ray gun perma perk or you can click the top left hand corner where there's going to be an annotation linking you guys to that video. So you guys are gonna need to know how to do that ray gun perma perk. So so the first thing that you're going to want to do is have Leroy break the fountain so you can teleport back to the spawn area so you can buy the ray gun off the wall. And after you have Leroy break the fountain, you guys are going to want to come over to the mystery box and hit it enough times until you get the ray gun mark 2 from the mystery box. So after you get the ray gun mark 2 out of the box, you guys are going to want to come over to mule kick which is located in the top floor of the gunsmith shop and you guys are going to want to buy mule kick so you guys can have 3 guns. After you get Mule Kick, you're going to want to come back to the mystery box and hit it again until you get the Paralyzer out of the mystery box. So after you've broken the fountain in the church courtyard and you have the Paralyzer along with the Ray Gun Mark II, you guys are going to want to come over to the maze, break the fountain in the maze, and teleport yourself back to the spawn room. There you guys are going to want to use the Paralyzer, I have the Petrifier, and you're going to want to Petrify or Paralyze yourself up onto the ledge where you can buy the Ray Gun off the wall. Again, you are going to need to know how to do the Ray Gun Perma Perk. Now once you're at this step, you guys should have the Paralyzer, the Ray Gun Mark II, and the original Ray Gun. After you guys buy the original ray gun from the Olympia, you guys are going to want to come back to Pack-a-Punch and Pack-a-Punch the original ray gun that you received off the wall. After you've Pack-a-Punch the ray gun that you received off the wall, you guys are going to want to come back to the teleporter which should take you back to the spawn room. There you're going to use the paralyzer to get back up onto the ledge and then trade the paralyzer for the Olympia which in turn would turn into the original ray gun. So, as you guys can see, I have the original Ray Gun, I also have the upgraded Ray Gun Mark II, and I have the Porter's X2 Ray Gun, which is the original Ray Gun upgraded. Now, keep in mind, you do not need to pack a punch the Ray Gun Mark II, I just decided to do it for the sake of this video. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like and be sure to subscribe. If you guys did view this video on any other channel other than mine, such as a community channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you click the link in the description, which should take you to my channel. There, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe for future zombie content.